we will find out which of these creatures would win in a head-to-head -head battle if they ever had one. At the end of the seven rounds, we will determine together who the winner is. Round one, Habitat. Where do these creatures live? Killer whales or orcas can be found in all oceans and most seas of the world. Despite the fact that they can dive up to 385 feet in search of prey, they prefer high latitudes and coastal areas over pelagic environments. They tend to concentrate in areas such as the coasts of Iceland, Norway, the Valdez Peninsula of Argentina, the Crozet Islands, New Zealand, and parts of the west coast of North America from California to Alaska. Lions live in scattered populations across sub-Saharan Africa. They rarely enter closed forests and as such are absent from rainforests. Instead, they prefer grassy plains and savannas, scrub bordering rivers, and open woodlands with bushes. Lions have also been recorded at pretty high elevations. They have been recorded as high as 11,800 feet above sea level on Mount Elgin in Kenya. There used to be lions widely distributed in Asia. Now though, only a tiny population can be found on the supercontinent. This is in and around Gir National Park in Gujarat, Western India. What are their populations? Estates for killer whale populations are uncertain. Even so, recent consensus suggests a minimum of 50,000 individuals. This is broken down by region as 25,000 in the Antarctic, 8,500 in the tropical Pacific, 2,250 to 2,700 off the cooler Northeast Pacific, 500 to 1,500 off Norway, and 2,321 in Japan. Estimates of lion populations vary, although their figures in the wild are said to be about 200,000 or fewer. Their populations have been declining rapidly over the years. Most of these individuals live in Africa. However, a small population of about 500 individuals can be found in Asia. Are these creatures endangered? Killer whales don't have any formal conservation status. This is because conservation groups worldwide have come to the conclusion that there simply isn't enough data to classify them. But it's safe to say that considering prey depletion, pollution, fishing, and the hunting of these creatures, based on the most conservative estimates of their population, their population may be downtrending. Lions are listed as vulnerable on the IUCN Red List. This means that unless a change is made, they will go extinct in the future. The activities of man continually destroy their habitats, reducing available areas for hunting and breeding. How many are killed in a year? The exact numbers for killer whales alone aren't known. However, it is known that about 300,000 dolphins and whales are killed by humans every year as a result of fisheries bycatch, pollution, and habitat loss. For lions, about 600 of them are killed each year by the activities of hunters and poachers. Who wins the round? Since estimates suggest that there are more lions than killer whales, and since fewer lions than killer whales are killed each year, lions win the round. Round 2. Diet. What do these creatures eat? As apex predators, killer whales have no natural enemies. Since they are social, they hunt in groups like wolf packs. They eat a wide variety of prey, including fish, cephalopods, mammals, seabirds, and sea turtles. There are about 30 different species of fish they prey on. Lions are classified as generalist hypercarnivores. They are both keystone and apex predators. This means there's no meat they find which they won't eat. However, they do have their preferences, and this includes blue wildebeest, plain zebra, American buffalo, gemsbuck, and giraffe. Like killer whales, they tend to hunt in packs, with lionesses doing most of the heavy lifting. How much do these creatures need to eat? The amount that the particular animal needs to eat is typically a function of its body weight. Killer whales can weigh as much as 13,000 pounds. That's at least half the length of a bus, and at least a quarter of its weight. And so they need between 150 to 300 pounds of food per day, as they expand a lot of energy while they swim. Lions, since they are smaller, require a lot less food daily than this. An adult lioness requires an average of about 11 pounds of meat per day. 
while males require about 15 pounds. Lions gorge themselves and eat up to 66 pounds in one session. If they are unable to consume all of the meal they have hunted, they rest for a few hours before continuing to eat. Lions may take days to finish a meal and therefore have to guard their meal against hyenas, vultures, and other scavengers. How easy is it for them to find food? Since killer whales hunt in packs, they don't really struggle to subdue their prey. They also have a wide variety of organisms to prey on. It's relatively easy for them to find food. Lions also hunt in packs, so subduing prey isn't a problem here either. However, they have a smaller selection of prey to choose from than killer whales do. Who wins the round? Since killer whales have a more diverse palette of prey to hunt down, they win this round. In addition, they have way less competitors than lions do. Lions have to worry about hyenas, leopards, and wild dogs. However, killer whales only need to worry about great white sharks. Round 3. Lifespan How long do they live? Killer whales have an average lifespan of 50 to 80 years. Some have been known to live up to 105 years. Their life expectancy in captivity is typically more than their life expectancy in the wild. Female killer whales reach sexual maturity at the age of 20. They are one of the few non-human animals who are known to undergo menopause and live for decades after they are done breeding to raise the young and take care of their social group. Lions live up to 8 to 10 years in the wild and up to 10 to 15 years in captivity. A lioness named Zenda was the oldest lion ever. She lived in Philadelphia Zoo, USA, and she died at the age of 25 years old. Who wins the round? The average lifespan of the killer whale is 75 years. However, the average lifespan of the lion is 12.5 years. As such, killer whales win this round too. Round four, bigger threat to humans. How many humans do they attack? Very few reliable cases of killer whale attacks on humans in the wild exist. However, in captivity, these creatures have quite the track record of hurting and killing their handlers. In any case, no official annual mortality figures exist. Even though humans are not the natural prey of lions, it's estimated that about 200 humans are killed each year by lions. Lions attack humans more when their natural prey becomes hard to find. How do they attack? Killer whales are excellent hunters. They make use of adaptations such as echolocation to locate prey accurately. Although they have a mouth full of teeth, this is not for chewing. Instead, they use their conical mouth like an appendage and use it to grab food. Being generalist hypercarnivores, lions have a lot of tools that help them guarantee hunting success. Other than the social habit of hunting in packs, they have large claws and even larger teeth to guarantee hunting success. Lions have really weak stamina, and so they can't really run for long periods of time. Instead, they sprint in short bursts. Lions can open their jaws by up to 11 inches, giving them one of the largest bites in the animal kingdom. Their teeth can be up to to 4 inches long and their claws can be up to 1.5 inches long. Lions have a bite force of only 650 psi and each year about 200 people are killed by lions. Specific examples. Even though orcas in captivity may lose their sense of aggression, they are so massive and strong that they can cause unintended damage. On December 24, 2009, 29-year-old Alexis Martinez was killed by an orca when practicing for a Christmas show at Laurel Park, Mexico. While in the water, Martinez was rammed in the chest by the 14-year-old male orca known as Keto. Martinez drowned before fellow trainers could rescue him. Even though to a lay person, this might have seemed like a malicious attack, the orca was only trying to play with him. However, it hit him a little too hard. In Shoalhaven Zoo, Australia, a zookeeper entered critical condition after she was attacked by two lions. 
the 35-year-old woman was cleaning their feeding pens when the creature set upon her. The lions attacked her viciously, leaving several bites. Paramedics arrived at the scene, but they had to enter the pen with the lions to treat the woman. By then, the lions had calmed down and did not interfere. The woman was given first aid treatment and then got transferred to a hospital for further treatment. Her condition was critical, but stable. Who wins the round? Since there are more documented cases of lion attacks in the wild than killer whales, lions win this round. Round 5. What are these creatures hunted by? What hunts these creatures? Killer whales are apex predators. They do not have any natural predators. However, they have been known to get into the occasional spat with their competitors, great white sharks. Since lions are also apex predators on top of being hyper carnivores, they are at the top of the food chain. However, the animal kingdom can be quite rough and they end up fighting other carnivores over food. Since lions share an ecological niche with hyenas, these are the creatures they end up fighting most often. Hyenas frequently challenge lions and steal their kills, obtaining food from 63% of all lion kills. Who wins this round? Killer whales have less to worry about than lions do. As such, killer whales win the round. Round 6. Speed. How fast can these creatures go? Killer whales can swim as fast as 35 miles per hour. This allows them to close distances with their prey pretty easily. They can also dive as deep as 385 feet beneath the water's surface in search of prey. Lions don't really have the best stamina. As such, they can sprint in only short bursts. However, within those short bursts, they can attain speeds of up to 50 miles per hour. Who wins this round? Since lions have a top speed greater than killer whales, they win this round. Round 7. Special Skills and Adaptability What are the little-known skills and adaptability of these creatures? Killer whales are highly intelligent and capable of nuanced communication. They also have advanced social dynamics. In addition to this, they use the sounds generated by echolocation to hunt. And sometimes, they even use their blowholes to shepherd prey towards the surface and corner them. They also have superior healing attributes, which far outperform anything else in the animal kingdom. Lions have many special adaptations which allow them to maintain their spot at the top of the food chain. These include an acute sense of smell, night vision, powerful paws, sharp claws, sharp teeth, rough tongue, and loose belly skin. Who wins the round? Killer whales have more unique special adaptations than lions. As such, they win the round. Verdict. Well, in this clash of the titans, lions won the rounds concerning speed, habitat, and threat posed to humans. However, killer whales won four of the rounds, dealing with diet, lifespan, natural predators, and special adaptations. As such, killer whales win the contest.